In this Chimp tutorial, we'll cover the effects engine. We'll look at the basic predefined effects and the custom effects possibilities. We'll also look at the effects with more than one parameter. To create an effect, you first need to make a fixture selection. Note that the order of the fixture selection is important for the FX engine. When a fixture selection is visible in the programmer, you can add an effect. On the right side of the programmer, on the second tab, you can find the effects button. Pressing this button will bring you to the effects engine. Alternatively, you can press the effect button on the console next to the clear button. Once in the effects engine, you can press add effects to add an effect. Next to the add effects button is the delete effects button, which allows you to delete an effect. Pressing the add effects button opens a drop down menu with two tabs. On the tab called predefined effects, you can choose the predefined effects for almost every parameter. Once selected, these effects can be adjusted in the effects engine. The second tab, Custom Effect, allows you to choose a parameter and effect curve. After selecting a parameter and a curve, the effects engine opens. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will work from a custom effect. In the visualizer, a selection of 24 moving heads is used as an example. These 24 spots have a fixture ID 101 to 124. To add an effect, select fixture 101 to 124. Then go to the effect engine by pressing effect on the console. Pressing the add effects button will bring up a pop-up screen. In this screen, choose custom effect. From the list of parameters, select Dimmer. From the list of curves, select Sign and confirm your choices by pressing the Add Effect button. The first column on the left is labeled Effect. In this column, you can select the effect layer you want to edit with the encoders. The Fixtures column shows the number of fixtures selected for this effect. By selecting the cell and pressing Set, three options appear. Replace Programmer Selection by Effect Fixtures selects the fixtures in the effect and replaces the selection of fixtures in the programmer. Merge Effect Fixtures in the Programmer Selection adds the fixture selection in the FX Engine to the selection in the programmer. Store Selected Fixtures into the effect takes the selection in the programmer and stores it into the effect. This will replace the fixtures in the effect. The parameter column shows the selected parameter for this effect. The mode column consists of two different modes that can be switched by pressing the set button after selecting the cell. If relative mode is selected, the effect will use the current position of the parameter and adjust the effect accordingly. If absolute mode is on, the effect will not take the current value of the parameter into account. This is especially useful for the preset to preset effects. The type column allows you to see the selected effect curve and change it to a different curve. The size min column allows you to set the lower limit of the effect. The size max column allows you to set the upper limit of the effect. The speed of each effect is expressed in cycles per minute and can be adjusted here. The offset determines the offset between the selected fixtures in the effect. 0 to 360 would, for example, mean an equal offset between all fixtures. The duty cycle determines the overlap of the entire effect from fixture to fixture and can be adjusted as a percentage here. In the grouping, buddying and wings column, you can divide the effect into different groups, buddies and symmetrical wings. Invert flips the effect curve. 
the direction column allows you to play back the effect forwards, backwards or make it bounce. In shots, you can define the number of cycles the effect should run, after which the effect stops running. Attack and Decay can only be used with a PWM effect curve. They determine how fast the curves fade in and how fast the curve fades out. The in fade and in delay columns determine how fast an effect fades in at cue start and whether the effect should be started with a delay. Each column has preset values that can be accessed through a pop-up window by selecting a cell and pressing set on the console. You can use the horizontal scroll bar to navigate through the various columns. The encoders move with the visible columns. You can also do this by pressing the effects button. You can save the created effect by pressing record and then selecting an empty or already filled executor. You can edit a saved effect by selecting the executor in which it's stored. Then press load and choose the number of the queue where the effects is stored. Now you can edit the effect in the effects engine. When you have made the adjustments, press record and overwrite the queue where the effects is stored. An absolute effect allows you to create a preset to preset effect. By setting the mode to absolute, you can select the preset from each pool by selecting the min or the max value and pressing the set from the presets tab. In the example, an all preset with tilt to up and the dimmer set to 100% and a preset with tilt to down and dimmer set to 0% are used. The other effect engine parameters remain available to adjust the effect as desired. If the preset is updated to a new value, the effects engine will automatically update it. To stop an effect in the sequential queue, select the selection of fixtures to stop the effect with. In the effects engine, you can use the hotkeys above the engine window to select the parameter you want to turn off. For example, off position effect stops the tilt movement in the running effect but leaves both the color effect and the zoom effect in the current state. Thanks for watching.